Christmas is in the air and the children at the Step Center are certainly gearing up for the holidays. Situated off Old Hope Road in St. Andrew, the Step Center is an institution for children with physical and other complex disabilities. Step is a very happy place because really our work, our mission is to make our children maximize their potential. The institution, which caters for children with special needs, for example cerebral palsy and other conditions, places a lot of emphasis on therapy. In this case, art therapy. They're nonverbal in terms of they, they communicate, you know, but they don't use their words. So a lot of them will gesture and um, express themselves that way. So art is also a nonverbal form of communication, which also helps them or makes it easier for them to translate that difficulty that they have using words. As a parent with a child with disabilities, it is important that you accept your child for who they are by showing them love, attention, and respect as this also contributes greatly to their development. One thing I know about these kids since I've had Silly is that they're loving people and they crave love. They give a lot of love and they expect the same from people. So all you have to do is just love them. He makes pictures and paints and a lot work with his hands and we are so happy for this. Still, it is no easy feat for parents knowing that their child has certain impediments. However, the Step Center has managed over the years to make tremendous breakthroughs in some of the children they have received. She has opened up the communication somewhat, some more. She is more open to accepting people, which she wasn't before. She was just close to her immediate family that she has moved away from that now. She will now address other people somewhat. Since over the years that she's been here, I've noticed that her vocabulary has grown quite vast. Um, how she expresses herself, she's far more expressive and it has helped just to bring out that inner, inner zest inside of her. And overall, I mean, just how it helps even in her maturity. I've seen where she has grown, I mean, Normally she has been so kiddy, but you've seen where she has transitioned from a kid more to um, a teenager. But um, overall, I think the Step Center has done a wonderful job. The staff is very, very um, close-knit. It's, it's, it feels like almost a second family. And I would recommend Step Center to anybody who has a child with disabilities, as long as it falls within the, the care areas that the Step Center um, focuses mainly on. Though the responsibility is great, parents with children with disabilities are reminded not to lose faith or hope in the ability of their child. Well, I say to parents that we don't know the potential of each of these children, and I think every child deserves a chance. So instead of writing off your child because, you know, your child has physical or mental problems, I think the best approach to take is to say to, to yourself, I've received this child as a gift and I am going to help this child whatever way I can to maximize their full potential because nobody can predict where your child is going to end up but the child deserves a chance and I think the Step Center is a wonderful institution. It provides a support for the parents and because when you come here as you have felt and you have just come here, you feel a joy in the air. While older children may move on to the institution genesis, the question remains, what happens when they become adults? So, so you say, what will happen to these children? But it's not that they're useless. And you'll soon see with the wheelchair art that you know, they have talent. The Jamaican population definitely needs to be educated more about the trials um, and, and tribulations that persons with disabilities face on a daily basis. Um, and 
just think about employment alone. I mean, the, you know, there's so much discrimination out there against persons who have disabilities. Fundraising events like the sale of these beautiful Christmas cards are critical to the operation of the Step Center. However, the institution is also grateful to the St. Margaret's Catholic Church for housing them since inception in 1993. In addition, the institution is also thankful that the Digicel Foundation has come aboard and given them funds for their own building where the groundbreaking ceremony was held recently. With this in mind, it is now left to our society to be more sensitive and accommodating of persons with physical disabilities.